Okay, well, in fact, uh, so we see that the demand is growing in all the niches because for the mobile play, for mobile applications that comes on the move, there is a big demand uh, from uh, any kind of uh, uh, customers. They do need connectivity in the air, in land, and in the sea. So our company so is um, uh, operates, satellite operator number one in the region of Russia and Central Asia. So in Russia, we are providing a lot of comes on the move uh, connectivity, comes on the move applications. So right now we have five teleports located on the territory of Russia, and we can provide a coverage in CNKU band uh, for the maritime routes from uh, Atlantic to Pacific Ocean in CNKU band. We can provide the roaming, and also we can uh, track the ship, tr uh, track the vessel, from Atlantic to Pacific Ocean, so from the Norwegian coast and the North Sea up to Alaska. <clears throat> so th this is actually our main mobile play we do have right now with our services. And so we, we provide connectivity to the ice-breaking vessels floating through the North uh, Northern Sea route, which comes from the Norway up to Pacific Ocean and then to China. <clears throat> uh, moreover, uh, so we are going to provide the inland connectivity, and right now we have uh, we are developing the project in the KU and K band. So with the uh, 20 user beams, we are going to provide the coverage of their inland territory of Russia, and uh, provide service for the different vessels and trains. Yes, I would say that yes, they have uh, special requirements and they, they, they need connectivity everywhere and they need uh, uh, to be sure that the SLAs are met. So that's why, because this is the only link that they have and they, they need it for security, they need it for, uh, um, to obtain the information where the life of the crew, for example, uh, depends on. I will just give you a, a good example of uh, uh, the maritime project that we have in the Arctic, where the ice-breaking vessels, when they move across the ice, uh, the ices, they need to receive a lot of information about the, what is happening with the ice, with the ices, because uh, uh, they need to, to choose the floating path, and so that's why they need to they need a broadband connection in order to receive the information about where to move, where to float, and how to avoid the big big uh, big icing uh, territories. Well, in fact, what we have noticed in Russia, you know, Russia is uh, located on the high latitudes. And uh, there, are, okay, there, there are two issues. The first is that Russia territory is situated on the high uh, altitudes. And if you're using their geostationary orbit, you know, the elevation angles for the majority of users are not exceeding uh, 50, uh, 50 de uh, no, 30 degrees, which is quite low. And it's especially uh, uh, comes on the move applications. They're very sensitive for the angle, for the elevation angle. The second thing, as you all know, the industry is uh, now very excited about uh, going to new uh, orbital positions and to new uh, Leo and Mel constellations because geostationary orbit is, is full, right? So right now, over Russia, we have all our transponders 100% sold out, so we don't have any capacity there. And besides that, we need a better elevation angle. So that's why we, as a RCC, we are looking at the highly elliptical orbit with the, with the apogee over the northern part of Russia. And again, we are just now considering the H uh, high elliptical orbit system with four satellites to provide better ele elevation angle for the customers in Russia and also to provide uh, a connectivity for the comms on the move application, especially maritime in Arctic. Yes, we definitely it will be much bigger because uh, we all know the recent developments in, in the antenna sizes and the pricing and now everybody's talking about the flat panel meta materials antenna when uh, again I, I'm sure when their market when the vendors can provide the market with their uh, satellite tracking antenna with no uh, moving parts and at the price of land, uh, less than hundred dollars the comes on the move market will boom and again if you look into the Russian market first uh, uh, we have a, a lot of territory, we have a very well developed uh, railway system, so railway, the Russian railway is the major potential customer for that. And the second thing, if you look into the climate, what is happening, the ices are melting. That means that their north, um, the northern sea route in the Arctic is becoming more accessible for the vessels, for the shipment vessels. And you know it is, uh, I think, uh, about a 30 or 35 percent, the distance is less 
than if going from China to Europe through Suez Channel. So again, we are, we are looking forward and we're expecting a lot of uh, maritime traffic in the Arctic. And again, uh, more demand uh, from the customers because their uh, comes and move equipment will be more affordable for them. So we think that the mobile play for operators is, and for teleports is very important. And this is one of the niches we need to look into.